Hi all, Long Island 67 here is Shane. Um, nice mar uh, parcel or package arrived in the post just uh, about 10 minutes ago. Uh, I already just censored out my details so none of you bitches be sending me letter bombs. <laughs> so, um, I mentioned earlier that um, I was going to be trying my hand at 6mm wargaming and look what's arrived. So this is from uh, Bacchus 6 mil. So you can check out their website, uh, www.bacchus6mil.com. They're based in Sheffield, I believe. Yeah, Sheffield, in the UK. So this arrived today. So let's have a look. Um, I, I said to uh, Greg Huff that I would uh, do uh, an unboxing and review. So here we go. So uh, I never did it with 6 mil before. This was about maybe 26 euros worth of stuff, so this is what it got me. Wow, quite a bit. Okay, let's so put this away. Okay, so this is what I got. Okay, so I got a bag of British Grenadiers from the American War of Independence. These are from the American War of Independence. Uh, British line infantry. As you can see, they are absolutely tiny. Uh, kind of these are like a universal command sprue. So um, these can be used for both Continentals, Germans, as in the Heisek Hassel troops, the Assassins, as they're often known as, and the Redcoats, and again the American Army, and a good amount of bases. This all came to under thirty euro including shipping and there's over like it's basically a hundred guys for six pounds which is you can't beat that so you can play almost man for man so at war games so um we'll have a look see what we get these are the yeah, these are the british grens the grenadiers you can tell by their caps so this is going to also mark the very end of my eyesight i start going blind doing these guys so oh wow these are actually very nicely detailed no flashing, which is very nice to see in the scale of this big. So, um, is there a command sprue in there somewhere? Okay, I can't see a command sprue, but not to worry. To be because often in the American War of Independence, you'd, think you'd have a thing called a combined grenadier battalion, where all the grenadier companies of the various foot regiments would combine into one unit. So what I'm going to do is, um, we will... Uh, I'm going to pause, we set up my camera as a more soon uh, uh, to have a proper look at these and uh, we'll take it from there. So I'll see you in a couple of seconds. Okay, uh, okay, and we're back, sorry I wasn't quite sure if you we were rolling there or not. So we can see here, this is how they come molded. Uh, check out my index finger or trigger finger. So they're actually the size of my finger, so that's how small they are. Also I have quite big soft chams. So, a little bit hard to see, but you can kind of actually make out some nice detail. Um, Bayonets are slightly bent and overscaled, but who cares, 6mm, when they're painted up, they won't even look the difference. They have the nice meters, uh, the fur caps that they wear, that's one of the reasons why I like the Grenadiers is their headdress is so cool. Um, I can see their cartridge boxes, and actually it looks like they have ponytails as well, which is uh, pretty cool. So very nice. So that's the um, the Grenadiers. Um, you guess actually how many you get in the bag? I'll do a quick jot them up. They all come in strips of four. So that's two, four. So two. That's ten. So you get about fifteen strips of four about. 15, 16 strips. They're all the same. Um, I was looking, having a quick gawk through them all just to make sure that there's no miscasts. No, they're all uh, they're all perfect. Uh, here's the command sprue, which I'm just going to take this guys off and show you these. So um, you can see the drummer in the middle there. Uh, I can't see anything that looks like an officer. So again, the Grenadiers will be a slightly smaller unit than the foot, foot infantry units, because only um, each foot battalion would have a company of Grenadiers, rather than 
unless you're doing a combined um, grenadier battalion where like various um, so like you know that the a brigade would, would or a regiment would uh, detach all their grenadier companies and merge them into one battalion to for like shock effect so they were very uh, useful that way also the uh, their reputation um, in combat was would carry through to the enemy very quickly that they knew that they were dealing with uh, very committed and experienced troops so um, so these are the grenadiers very nice I'm actually quite impressed with them um, they're very small actually like here's um, a 15 millimeter so this is this is, he's one, these are 1 to 300 scale for any of my model making friends here's a 1 to 100 scale this is a Flames of War guy for my Rommel command so you can you can see the size but these should be very easy to paint because you you don't, you don't go crazy detail on them and you just uh, a couple of seconds with the airbrush and then a bit of brushwork and you're you're good to go okay so uh, I'll show you the, the next thing I got which was the uh, British command or British infantry, which are just your standard line infantry with the tri hats, tri the tri dome or tri point hats, or the hell they're called, I don't know what they're called. So again, you get they come in like Ziploc bags. So I'll show you. I'll throw off the command. No. So you can see we have the drummer same type of headdress as the grenadiers two flag bears in the middle and a sergeant with the uh, quarterstaff in the corner or the half pike so uh, again lovely detail N no flashing quite sharp nice facial detail and you can't really quite see it because of the reflected quality of the pewter which is what they're casting but very nice I really like that. So we'll have a look at the. You get a couple of commands. Uh, I'm seeing this one, two. Yeah. So there's three command sprues there. Um, I'm only going to probably use one or four command sprues. But mm, that doesn't make any sense. So I'm going to probably only make just use the one and turn into one company of men and just cut out the, the sergeants and place them along my line just to add a bit of visual interest. So uh, I'm just going to bring up some of the infantrymen. That's just your standard line infantry. So bear with me. Okay, and we're back. So again, nice detail. Good the faces on them actually. There's a, c a lot of common misperceptions. Even now, I was kind of that I bought into that. Like six mil is very in the on detailed. In detail, not even real words. That they lack the detail. They're bigger scale brethren that they're just blobs with, um, full of flash and maximum cleanup but these are actually some of the cleanest wargaming miniatures I've ever seen some very nice detail a lot of character in them and the, the advantage of playing 6 mil for any war game is that a lot of the time you scale down the actual movement and ranges become more realistic so I'm going to be using black powder for these so I can actually just because like black powder tends to run off 28 mil which would be one of his 50 56 or 54 scale models that require like a 6 by 12 table which is just too big whereas I, I go on 6 mil a 4 by 4 or even smaller is more than adequate and also allows you to fight battles man for man which is really interesting um, so yes these are very nice detailed nice de nice kind of um, nice quality of cast like and they're not that demanding they also have to be very um, very much uh, like uh, go by my eyesight though I would recommend for anyone who's painting these um, Greg Huff did a, a wonderful painting tutorial on them so uh, I would recommend anyone who's interested he's doing a seven years war uh, French army so that would be um, I don't know if he's doing it for the French Indian wars or for the wars on the continent of uh, Europe and then Colour of the Gods is doing a beautiful Prussian army so uh, these guys are American War of Independence, which I find really interesting. I might, I'm probably going to end up doing the French-Indian Wars as well in Canada. I find I really, I'd probably like to do a few Irish regiments, you know, representing as to say. So I'll show you the last bag I got, which is here behind us. So the last bag is of the command. Well, actually, the last bag of figures, and then I'll look at the bases then. 
There's actually no space is here to base my entire army, which is deadly. So here are the command. Spru oh wow, I'm actually just looking at them half camera. Jeez, they're nice. Okay. So they're molded in strips of three as you can see, they're fully mounted. That is unreal. The last guy with the hat and the hair, you can actually see the curls in his hair dude. Oh that's amazing. Like that is crazy detail. So well done to Bacchus for the high level of sculpt thing. I I'm actually I'm blown away by these. Can't wait to get these painted up. So, okay, what do we have? We have three mounted officers. And in the bag, you get... These are only like four pounds. And you get... Four, eight... You get 16. Uh, in four strips of three. Or no, sorry. Three, six and six. Twelve, twelve and three. Sorry, you get 15. 15. Yeah, 50. I need that. I'm dyslexic. I need to count it out. Show up. <laughs> anyway, so you get like, you get quite a few um, strips. So that means that I have enough for my my commander, for my command for both the Continental Army, any of the German mercenary forces at the Heise Kassel troops, or the British regulars. And that's the beauty about this set is that you can it's cross compatible because the uniforms are very similar, you just paint them up in the in the the, the, the national colours that are specific for that army. So let's have a quick look at what we have. So we have a nice mount, we got a guy in a very dramatic pose, you know, giving me speech before sending these men into the meat grinder that is battle. So nice detail on the horses too. Uh, so he's hat in the air, nice detail on the face, even curls on his wig, if you will. You can kinda of make it out there. And where's my pointing stick? Let's get a cocktail stick. So um you can see there these are the the curls. Hat in the air, nice detail on the horse. Another guy is just uh riding and looking thoughtfully into the middle distance. And then the last guy is pointing, as all officers like to do for some reason. Okay, so you get that, so you get um three repeat sprues of that. And then I'll show you the other, and then the remaining two strips or sprues are of this. So you do get a bit of fair, fair, I can't even say the word. You get, you know, you get a bit of choice. So you get a guy, um, you know, sword and dare, you know, charge type crap. Uh, you get a chap then sitting leisurely on his horse, you know, watching his battalion get cut to pieces by muskets. And then you get a chap that looks like he's reading. It's like he's looking off to the distance, and he's a bare head, which is also it's nice seeing bare head of figures. So you get um, you get two strips of them, and then you get three strips of the one that we looked at, and then the final thing I got on the pack package. I can't wait! I'm actually really looking forward to working on these now. Now, I'll probably be famous last words because uh, you guys will probably hear me the next day crying as I get overwhelmed with six mil figures, and I have some. American Continental Infantry men on the way too, so it should be an interesting little force. So I got a bag of bases, 20 bases, uh, 60 by 30 millimeter. So they're laser cut MDF, so you should have that lovely, yeah, that lovely barbecued smell. <laughs> you know what I mean? So like, uh, what I'm gonna do? I'm just going to. Uh, Refocus my camera and we'll be back in a second, okay? Because I can't do it once it's filming, so. Alright, we're back and I just reset my angle. Basically, just have to press pause and then resume and then start. So, you get these bases, you get 20 of them. Laser cut MDF, I believe. Quite nice. Um, cheap as well, they're only like, they're like 3 or 4 pounds. So, as you can see, this gives you an idea of the size of them as well. But I think my dad will kill me if he sees me. If he ever walks into the house and I'm playing with these, he'll think I'm buddy is looking to lose my eyesight, which he'll probably be right. So, as you can see, you can form up full companies. Um, because you get basically 100 or so men per bag, you get a minimum of 90, so you, you can actually feel full strength companies, which would be very interesting because you, know, you can just scale whatever game system you're using. You know what I mean? Like, so I'll, I'll probably be playing battalion strength, just like uh, Color of the Gods, because you made a damn good point that you can play them full strength, man for man, which is 
actually quite interesting. And I'll, I might actually build up the brigade strength eventually if I don't go mad in between. So as you can see, that's going to uh, one of these 60 millimeter by 30 millimeter strips allows you to form up six stands and then what, what I'll do then is I'll have like NCOs walking in behind them file officers if you will uh, have drummers maybe out in the front um, to help keep them dressing and the, the pace because uh, the bizarre thing about warfare in the 17th and 18th century and late and early 19th centuries was um, or set or really from the 18th and 19th century and late 17th was that everything was fought like it was on a parade ground so dressing and spacing was so important because well firstly there was a, an element of like pompousness to it but we're fighting with muskets that are inaccurate outside 60 yards so keeping the lads straight so they can concentrate their firepower is incredibly important so it's plus a command uh, command unit here so uh, it was very important that lions try to stay as straight as possible so they could actually get the shots off and be on target so um, so you can imagine uh, a couple of companies of these guys laid out on your field not too difficult either to make train boards because they're so small you know what I mean they look quite impressive because it gives you this is also known as a god scale for this reason because it's like you're a god looking down it's like you know you're playing your Age of Empires or Civilization or whatever whatever games you play on the computer they're a little bit like this so it's tiny but I'm actually looking forward to painting these it's completely new to me so as you can see I'll probably do that'll probably be my company so I'll, I'll probably do four trays two ranks deep which is quite common how the, the British Army fought. Two ranks, um, like in the Battle of Quebec, uh, James Wolfe, Major General James Wolfe I believe, he's, uh, he was commander of the British forces at Quebec, uh, he ordered his lads, normally at that time there was a fight in three ranks, not two, but he was outnumbered so badly and needed to maximise on the firepower of his men, he ordered them to go into two ranks and to double load their muskets, so two, two shots. And then they allowed the French and uh, Quebecois. I've been, I've been, uh, I've been educated to, to, to the, the terminology of some of the, of the French Canadian community, the, uh, the French Canadians themselves. So, like when the French and French Canadians advanced on the British, they needed to basically pour as much fire into them as possible, or they would get steamrolled. And this is how they did it. They just basically. Um, formed their lines up two, two breast or uh, two deep and double loaded their muskets and just prayed that the uh, combined firepower would uh, save their asses which it did and uh, so basically I have I have a bit of a little bit of a problem as in for if I want to do my four trays across I have I have only have three command units to fill in the back so I'm um, I'm not going to write too much about that actually, what I'll probably do is I'll actually just cut the, the banner poles and, and hope pass them as muskets or uh, just put a few mounted troops, uh, a few mounted officers in here and there just to extend out the lines so we'll come up with something so I like, I like the idea of having them four abreast because you have that cool continuous line of troops and also makes it very easy to go into a column of attack three ranks deep so um yeah, so I'll be looking forward to this. So I'll be doing a couple of videos based on this, and I'll be doing an unbagging of my next order from uh, Bacchus, which will be Continental Line and Continental Continental Line in Skirmish order. So I'm going to probably uh, pick up a few more units of this as well, and probably some artillery. I'm not much of a cavalry man, but I'll, I'll try to what to see what their horses are like, because their horses are mighty impressive in the scale. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this interesting. Um, uh, Greg, I hope you found this uh, a good um, a good kind of unboxing, review, and kind of conversation. And uh, I'll be definitely doing more videos on my six mil war game collection, mate. So be sure to keep checking checking out my channel. And I'll be keeping a close eye on your channel too, man. Because I really enjoyed your your stuff. So thank you so much for watching. 
I'm going to sign off now. Uh, look after each other as always, my friends. Stay safe and watch out for those buses. Bye-bye.